And we are here for round number two, folks, of the casted fan games here on my Twitch TV account. I'm an RS, and we're here to watch Ninja Turtle, Crimson, or Tilly. Probably Ninja Turtle versus Crimson, if I remember how this works. Um, did I make it? Yes! Haha, <laughs> nailed it. So, of course, you can see one is diamond, one is gold. Again, it's going to be another PvP. Kind of depends on how things go, though. I mean, really, I don't know for sure if they are gold and diamond that you can actually just pick from a drop-down menu what, uh, what your rank is. So, Ninja Turtle spawning over in the left side of the map, facing off against Crimson. Crimson actually ended up pulling a pretty solid victory, so let's go ahead and put a little bit of... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to put some money on Ninja Turtle. Because Ninja Turtles are awesome, so let's let's bet a little bit. We'll put about a third of our money right now. That brings me down to about a thousand. And so now Ninja Turtle does not have volume anymore. So very nice, good mannered stream watcher. I, I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know, but either way, man, very impressive display from Crimson. Knew the right time to expand based on his scouting, his observations down there. So we're going to be looking to see something along the lines of the same thing. Ninja Turtle, we haven't really seen a whole lot from him yet, so not uh, not sure what to expect. This isn't the best map, I would say, for something like a 4-gate. Any map that's got this small choke like this is a little bit more difficult to do it on. It's certainly possible. I'm not saying it's it's impossible. Uh, it's doable, but again, force fields can hold this ramp a lot easier than they can on, say, LOL Taldarim Altar, which is like 4-gate Hulk Mania map. So we have uh, we have the scout coming over, checking this area first, knowing that he cannot spawn in this close position. Ninja Turtle, of course, has his probe out to lunch or something. Gonna be uh, packing it in that G.I. Joe lunchbox that at least one person on the stream I know had as a kid. Come on, you can admit it. Okay, it was me. I had the G.I. Joe lunchbox. <laughs> oh, but you know what? I'm proud of it. Ooh, a lot of energy being saved up in Crimson. He could actually be going for a four gate, saving that up here, or... You know, we don't have a gas going down either. Hmm. I smell craziness. I smell craziness. Of course, Turtle's gas just finished a second or two ago. Going to be getting that saturated. Excuse me, I do have a brief cough. Ugh. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I've actually been live streaming for several hours today. So, I knew that was going to catch up with me at some point. Back onto the game now, Crimson dropping down his cybernetics core. Still sitting on a lot of energy for his Nexus. I mean, really, he could be lining up for a 4-gate. I mean, again, dumping all that energy onto the cybernetics core with that warp gate technology researching could help out a lot. But down here, Ninja Turtle looks like he's got a pretty solid build of his own. What? Turtle doing a good job keeping keeping that pylon down in the hidden area. This is actually something that you don't see a lot of players do early, this early, but still is a very smart thing in the PvP because you never really know what's going to happen with a proxy pylon. You know, even if, um, you know, even if you see the pro leave your base, he still can come in and scoot around like this and go all around there on the edge and never, you'll never see it. Because it can get there before your stalker's done. So, very interesting wall up there by Crimson, actually. That's uh, very interesting indeed. I'll be watching to see if he's able to use that to great effect. Second to third gateways are just about completed there. That's second gas as well. So, of course, Ninja Turtle keeping an eye on his opponents. Got a robotics facility on the way. Now, according to the chat, he said he's going to do something crazy. So, a Colossus drop? Could we see a Colossus drop? Anyone? Maybe an Immortal drop? I don't know. Watching the gas right now. Oh, Terran. Terran music is so amazing. It's so glorious. Third gateway now going down. He is still pretty much just dumping all of his uh, gateway money into a Zealots. You'll notice how he is saving up that gas. There's that Robotics Bay going down as well. So Colossi indeed on the way. This is a very common thing in a Protoss versus Protoss. A lot of times it's either 3-gate Robo, 3-gate um, Blink Stalker, or 4-gate. Now, of course, you can transition into different things, unless, of course, you 4-gate, which if you don't kill him, you won't have time to transition anything because you'll be dead. But 
you know, Colossi is pretty much what the PvP game comes down to. How many Colossi you have, how your, your army is positioned, and of course, what your other units are. That's just as important as the Colossi itself. If you take an army that somebody just kind of builds up over time, you know, okay, well, mixture of Zealots, Stalkers, Sentry, and Colossi, these are all very, what I call, light units. I don't say light because I know um, Stalkers are armored, but I mean, they're very squishy in the late game compared to Immortal, the AoE spread of uh, multiple Colossi. So, um, you know, Archons as well, to an extent. They can absorb a lot of damage in general, and Stalkers really just kind of feel out of place. So, it's very important to update your army as you play. So, we see a little bit more bets going on here. I'll place another third... We do, of course, have this Observer. Uh-oh. Zealots going in. Here we go. Ninja Turtle, of course, has that pile on there as well. There's some pressure coming from Crimson. Maybe assuming there's an expansion. Maybe just going to see if he can uh, poke and prod a little bit. We do have that hidden pile on. Ninja Turtle moving out. The suspense is building, folks. The Immortal is heading out as well. This could actually put Crimson into an all-in position, which, you know, a base trade, actually. Ninja Turtle here, oh, sending out a probe. What's he going to be doing? He's going to have to drop a couple more sentries. As he is sending out the forces, this could be a crucial moment. And the fact that he's sending out all of his defense while Crimson is moving forward. We do have that uh, Warp Prism starting to come in here. Waiting for that to go. Of course, we do have a couple Stalkers there as well. Here it goes, folks. The army over here, just parked barely outside. He has nothing. Ninja Turtle has nothing in his main. There's the drop. Uh-oh. Is he going to attack? Or is Crimson going to try to hold on? There's a few Stalkers here in the main. They're able to hold that off. The army is deciding to move in. This is really the smartest decision at this point. Uh-oh. Ninja Turtle's plan could backfire. He's going to have to warp in. And... Oh, no. He gets in. Oh, wow. This has become a base race, folks. Will any of the probes be able to get out? Ooh, running, running. No, he's going to have to send all of them out now if he wants to have a chance. I'm seeing with a couple, some couple zealots standing over there still. This army is slowly moving in. Of course, Crimson with the Immortal up here does have a little bit of an advantage. Of course, you've already got that Observer looking around for any sort of proxy buildings. Is he going to be able to force field? This is really important right now to make sure these probes don't get out. One force field could make that happen. Of course, they're all bugged, they're all bugged down like this. So, really, I think that uh, Crimson's not going to be able to get out and build any proxy buildings. Which means that pretty much Ninja Turtle can win this. Oh, the probes are looking like they're going to get out. Oh, there you go. Head back over. We see that Crimson is still working on knocking out the base. That Immortal really doing a good job knocking those down. Ninja Turtle able to get out some of his probes there. He does have a decent bit of money. He's also got a Nexus going in there. And this could actually be it. It kind of depends on if this Nexus goes down. If Crimson is able to hold, there's a lot of pylons here. And unfortunately, the attacks are a little unfocused right now. So this actually, uh-oh. Technicality. Crimson's going to DC. Game of the Ages. Cut short by Ninja Turtle dropping ooze on Crimson's network card. Cannot have this. I do apologize for this, folks, but this is a great time to drink some water if you want to. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Delicious. So, if Crimson DCs, this is pretty much just going to go to Ninja Turtle by default. Congratulations. We now know that this is indeed a hero in a half shell, possibly involved with some turtle power. Oh, he had to keep his volume off the whole time. Oh, his, his, all of his volume. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, see? Bean Dog's right. Good streamer. So, unfortunately, Crimson, you are going to have to be voted off the island here. I'm waiting an extra five seconds. And he's gone. Ninja Turtle wins!